Okay, guys, so I'm going to take this as just an opportunity to give a brief message. And the message is on control. And it's, it's only going to be a short one. So if you bear with me, I want to look at this in Revelation 6. It says, now, when I saw the Lamb, when I saw when the Lamb opened, Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard one of the four living creatures saying with a voice like thunder, come and see. And I looked, and behold, a white horse. He who sat on it had a bow, and a crown was given to him. And he went out conquering and to conquer. Now, the white horse rider is generally seen as the spirit of Antichrist or the Antichrist in, in, in prophetic eschatological terms. And when you look at that, you see that he goes out to control and to conquer, right? So uh, he conquers pretty much through control. It goes back to Genesis 11, the example of Nimrod. Now, I'm going to show you a video in a wee second, but I want you to, to, to bear in mind um, that we are seeing things encroach. Whenever you see the walls start to come in and the, you know, the, the ceilings start to press down, you know, like the Indiana Jones thing, that whenever you see all of that happen, you know that you're, you're ability to move, to go, to travel, to do things, to uh, traverse or converse with people in certain settings is all starting to be controlled. You know that we are approaching the times that are spoken about. So control is very much needed in the arsenal of the enemy to conquer and it is completely contrary to how jesus works because jesus works by freedom he says that the truth shall set you free and free indeed and it is completely contrary it is anti it is pseudo christ i want to look at one of the things that we see because revelation um chapter 13 verse 17 we say that we see that um, by the mark he controls those who can buy or sell I know we are not at that stage yet, but we are seeing the walls close in. We are seeing the pressure being put on. We are seeing, I believe, the spiritual conscious attempt to terraform an atmosphere to create a space for who he who is called the lawless one, a.k.a. the Antichrist. We are not there. The seals are not open, but we are certainly coming into a world that looks very much like that. It's very 1984 uh, you know, type of world that it is Orwellian in its approach. It is not utopian, it is dystopian, and it is all about control and shutting down. And if you haven't thought that control is a big issue, um, then you haven't been awake for the last couple of years. You have seen your ability to go, to move, to step outside your house controlled. Now what we see on social media and everywhere that we look, we see what we can view and what we look and what narrative we can grab hold of controlled and shut down by people who want to be in control of you. Because if they control what you see and what you hear, they control you. Joseph Goebbels knew that. The Bible tells you that. You know, that we are to, to, that, that whatever the eye uh, is focused on, if it is evil, it, the eye is evil, then the eye better be cast out. And it says in 1 John 2, 16, that we are controlled and the enemy uses the lust of the eyes, the pride of life and the lust of flesh to control us. Control is in the arsenal, in the bag, in the toolbox of the enemy. And I want you to look at this because one of the things that we know through Revelation 13, verse 17, and I'm going to bring that up in just a second, is that control will be very much done in a way in which you trade. Now, we, if, as the church, will not see this, but we will certainly see, I believe, the, the, the setting of the atmosphere. So let me just share this with you just very, very quickly. I'm going to skip on. I'm going to share um, this video with you first. Just watch it for a second. Sure. Today, I'm proud to say that under the UK's presidency, the group of the world's seven most advanced economies, the G7, is launching a set of public policy principles. Can I just point out there as well, the G7, the world's top seven, were um, under the UK's presidency, have already um, tried to adopt what is called the D10. Right. So Boris Johnson suggested the D10. Now, why is that important? If you look at Revelation 13, if you look at Daniel uh, 9, if you look at Daniel 8, if you look at Revelation 17, you know that there comes a time in which there are 10 kingdoms, so, of, so to speak, 10 ruling areas, right? And 10 rulers on top of those 10 ruling areas. These are the people wanting to make the decisions. And one of the decisions that the G7, before it becomes, if it ever does become a D10, is that they are moving to, are trying to adjust the atmosphere 
or just the economic atmosphere to a digital type of currency. So just let me continue. For retail, central bank digital currencies, CBDCs. Central bank digital currencies could be a digital version of money, a bit like a digital banknote that could be used alongside physical notes and coins. Now, they're saying primarily that it can be used alongside, but that is not the end goal. And I want you to be aware of something, right? I'm going to share this if I can just switch this. Today, on. I'm proud to see this. Uh, we, we all saw the, the emergency acts being uh, introduced in Canada. And we saw one of the things that Canada looked to do. So they shut down people's bank accounts. But they also went after digital currency. So th this is Justin Trudeau. Can I, and this is taken straight out of the policy article. It says Canada's Trudeau and Acts Emergency Act and crypto was included. The move by the Prime Minister includes an expansion of money laundering laws to include crowdfunding platforms and cryptocurrency transactions. You see, there is already this digital form of currency out there, and it's not a bad thing, but where it becomes a tool of the enemy is when it is completely and utterly controlled. And when it is completely and utterly controlled by a centralized control system, a governing system, a one world system, then you know, oh my goodness, time is now. Right. So you need to be wary of that. And when you see these things encroaching, it's not for you to let fear enter into your heart. It's for you to be uh, awakened to it and know that Jesus is coming soon. So you better get busy about the works of your father. You better get busy about the works of your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. When Jesus was found at the age of 12 in the temple, that's what he said to his mother. When he was asked what he was doing, he says, did you not know I was about the works of my father? Well, we need to be about the works of our Lord and Savior. We need to follow Jesus Christ and get busy in these times. But let me get back to this, right? This is what it's all about. It's all about financial control. There was an article I shared it on the, the Facebook page, and I shared this thing, this video on the Facebook page, and it was all about um, the, what goes into the, the, the documents surrounding the UK and the G7's approach to this digital currency and creating a governized digital currency. They are talking, in the essence, of not giving you a digital banknote or a digital banknote to go and spend on what you want they are talking and they have already said it and it's in these papers and it's, in the, and it's on this other video um that they are talking about basically restricting and allowing for sensible uh purchase so if they believe that you're spending your own money in a way that you dictate is uh beneficial to you but they don't say it is beneficial to you then they can stop how that money spent. And this is the essence of control. We are seeing this across the world right now with the idea of EC, uh, specifically across Europe right now, with the idea of um, ECGs, you know, our e, sorry, environmental global government. Yeah, environmental uh, governance, uh, you know, it's um, ECGs is actually what it's called. Yeah, and, and one of the things that they've done that is, that. So the EU partnered with MasterCard on this, on the premise, on the backbone of climate change, that they could control your consumption of fossil fuels. So, for instance, if you were going from A to B with your car, they could take your average daily commute and they could say that is your allotted amount of petrol. And therefore, whenever you go to pay for it, if you say, for instance, I've had £30 worth of petrol that week and they say that's as much as you can purchase because that's what you need to do a b and c the minute you go to try and buy extra petrol or extra you know put more in your card is cut off and this is a form of control they are trying to do that indiana jones close the walls close this so you can only move when you're allowed to move and if you think like rats in a maze if you think like you know one bit shut so the rat can only go one direction that is what is happening and this is all to do with a biblical um unfolding that we're seeing happen in society right now we are seeing and we've got front row seats to the emergence of a new world right where they say normality is gone this is the new normal what they mean and what the spiritual meaning behind that is is the you know living free is gone now you're going to start to enter into the maze you're going to start to enter then into that rat maze where you're told you can only go that direction you can only go and see your friends when we allow you to see your friends you can only do this when we allow you to do this and this is what is happening right now now whether that will come to the uh revelation 13 and you know 
10 years, 20 years, 30 years. I don't know, right? No man knows the day nor the hour. But what we do know is that when you see the squeezing happening, it is time for you to get yourself set upon the calling that is on your life, upon the calling to fulfill the Great Commission and to go out there and make disciples of all nations. God bless.